2018 EDC update, guys. Sorry that I didn't do one last month. Um, I've been so busy with the company that oftentimes I don't sit down and change my everyday carry, and so I really didn't have uh, anything different to show you. This time around, I was able to finally sit down and change it up, and I've, as you guys can hopefully see, I've changed up a few things. And so I'm gonna get the phone out of here first, just because. Uh, I want to do another video with this thing. I don't want it to be super wet. It is already pretty wet. Of course, there are no changes uh, to it. It is just the same old HTC 1M9 uh, in a, the OtterBox Defender. I still love this setup. It's really solid. The HTC 1M9 is an awesome phone. I still really love it. And uh, I may eventually get an M10, maybe an M11 if they make it. Uh, but anyways, guys, so that's the phone. So with that out of the way, uh, I'll, I may be getting into the knives. Uh, the first part, you guys can probably notice is different, is the SC. And I think I mentioned in other videos that I did about the SC. I um, forgot that I wanted to throw that in here, too. Uh, I carry quite a bit, and oftentimes I forget some stuff. But anyways, with the SC, uh, I think as I mentioned in a previous video on it, I really loved how flat it was. And that made it really great for uh, carrying it. Uh, and that it really doesn't print as much as the Pole Force November 1. And you guys can see, you know, with its flat handles and pretty flat sheath, it makes for a very flat package. And now that we're kind of going into summer, I'm not wearing a coat as much. And so the importance of having a really flat or essentially a knife that doesn't print as much. Uh, is really important for me. I mean, some people uh, carry their neck knives more openly, uh, but I tend to run them under the shirt in more of a concealed fashion. And so, now that I'm not really, like I said, wearing a coat as much, having a knife that lays really flat and doesn't print as much is quite important. So I have made the switch over to my SE3 for uh, carrying as a neck knife and if you guys don't know, generally I do carry neck knives for when I can't carry other knives and uh, when I need kind of a quasi bush knife, uh, something that is really great uh, in survival or bushcraft tasks, uh, but I don't want to be carrying carry it for self-defense in place of a gun. So. Uh, other than that, um, of course, I'm still carrying the Sabenza. As I mentioned in another video, this is kind of like one of my wish list knives, so I haven't really want to replace it. Honestly, I've been loving it, and I've been using it actually a surprising amount. Um, so really no complaints and no wants to change it. Still excellent, still very sharp. Really love this thing. Um, on to the next knife. This is a knife that you guys may not be as familiar with. This is the Benchmade Barrage, and I haven't carried this knife in like a year and a half. It's been a very long time uh, and I really wanted to kind of bring back this knife just because it's a really awesome knife and I feel like it's kind of been thrown in the drawer and forgotten about. Uh, but I wanted to bring it back. Uh, generally I don't like assisted knives anymore and this is one of my earlier knives that I got when I kind of liked serrations and assisting, you know, knives that would come out super fast and looked awesome. Uh, and this was that, but I decided to carry it because, like I said, I hadn't carried it in over a year, and I still really like the knife. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to bring this knife back in, and so far I've been really re-liking it. Uh, this knife is kind of a problem child for me. Um, the screw, this screw over here, stripped completely out. And a number of these other screws were actually kind of bad as well. The blade is a bit over-tempered, so it's really hard to get a good edge back onto it. Um, but I was able to find enough time to put a pretty good edge back on it. Um, yeah, this knife has been kind of problematic. Uh, but overall, it's a super fast deploying knife. Even for assisting, it's pretty fast, uh, especially this large of a blade. I mean, a lot of smaller assisted knives come out pretty fast, but being that this is, I believe, nearly a four inch, this might be a 4.0, uh, it almost rivals the Sabenza. The Sabenza's 4.1 inches in blade length, and 
This one, I believe, is right around 4 or 3.9. So the fact that it can kick that 3.9 to 4 inch blade out as fast as it does is pretty impressive. Um, but anyways, so this is definitely uh, in the setup and I'm really liking it. Uh, onto the multi-tools, of course, I'm still carrying the Classic. I pretty much always carry the Classic, even if you don't see it. Sometimes I forget about it because it's one of those things that I really only pull out when I specifically need it. And at all other times, it's just so small and lightweight that I forget about it. Um, but I pretty much always carry that for just small tasks when I need tweezers or very small scissors uh, is pretty much when I use it and I actually use it quite frequently. Other tool or the other multi-tool of course is the Surge and still love the Surge. Some people find it obnoxious to carry such a heavy duty uh, multi-tool. I don't know, I've never really gotten that. Uh, idea or complaint. It's never really phased me, but I still love all the ability that it has. I particularly love it for working on vehicles, uh, whatever vehicle I tend to be working on. Uh, just these heavy-duty pliers just seem to always be really handy. Um, but that's that. I do have some other uh, Leatherman uh, pliers, multi-tools, but I don't really find myself carrying them as much as this one. Once again, they're kind of more specialty if I need to kind of reduce the size of my EDC if I'm going into a place that's not quite as EDC friendly. Uh, I'll generally switch over to the Leatherman Juice that I have, but as far as actually everyday carry, uh, I rarely use the Juice for that situation. Some of the other things, I've changed up the Zippo. Um, I'm just kind of changing up for the fun of it. This is, of course, a black and red. I really like the way this one looks. This is one of my favorite Zippos besides just the quintessential uh, regular one that's pretty much my workhorse. Um, but I really like this one. It's really awesome, uh, the whole look of it. Uh, I do wish I had more custom Zippos, but I really don't have the money to buy a whole bunch of Zippos just for an advance for any wind noise. Uh, but the next two pieces are, I've switched up the bracelet uh, to this coloration. Uh, the other one was gold, brown, and orange. But for summer, I'm going back to uh, a green, brown, and tan. So I really like that look, uh, especially for summer. And that's kind of what I'm doing with this whole setup. I'm kind of switching back into summer uh, as well for summer. I'm still right now carrying the ProTac 2L, but I might switch over to the Stylus Pro just because at least here in Alaska, we have sun in the summer 24 seven. So there's very little reason for me to carry a flashlight that has this much power and that uses CR123s. Uh, it's pretty unnecessary right now. So probably in the next, probably in the next uh, EDC update, you'll see the Stylus Pro. I may or may not switch back to it, but I probably will just for weight savings because this is, as you can see, quite large, uh, obviously, to uh, hold those 123s. And there's really no reason for me to uh, burn 123s in the summer uh, when it's already so bright, at least here in the last. That's been pretty much the uh, EDC for the, or for May. And, uh, Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Uh, so I don't know I if I'll be doing an EDC update in June, but I might. I will definitely try and do one in July. Uh, I kind of like this more every other month, doing an EDC update. I think my EDC changes enough to do one every other month, but probably not one every month. But if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And I'm out.